Hey guys, Timmy here from MalaysianVapeAddict.com. I have a new dripper review for you guys. And today I'm going to review the SOD 5K by Science of Vaping Dripper Clone. Okay, um, Ober from Sim Steam Studio, link here. Uh, he dropped the idea today. Uh, I, I bought some batteries, some uh, Kantao and stuff like that. And he brought two atomizers for me, okay? And he asked me, you know, just pick one if you want to review. Then I was like, he let me pick between the hobo and this one. And I thought this one looked so damn cool and really sleek that I decided, you know what, I'm going to get this one for review. So I picked it up, um, fiddled it. I have got it like three, four days ago. I've uh, been playing with it. And I was using my Zero uh, back then, and it was only pushing out 30 watts, okay? And I wasn't pre I wasn't super happy with it because I really wanted a mod that had like super power to you know power this dripper. So I've got myself the IPV two S. I've just updated it to seventy watts. Of course, I don't need seventy watts for this, but now it this dripper it's performing how I want it to perform. Okay, so basically it's a rebuildable dripping atomizer. It's made by Science of Vaping. The SOD stands for Science of Dripper. Okay, Science of Vaping is a pretty uh, small company. They make like aftermarket uh, top caps for the K funds and stuff like that. But they have the Dripper, and it's uh it's made of stainless steel. It comes with two top caps. Okay, if I can find the other top cap. Okay, the logo is pretty nice. I'm gonna go for, uh, for a close up later. But it comes with two top caps, which is nice. One top cap has one air air hole, and the other top cap has two air hole. Okay, so technically it has adjustable airflow, but you are only limited to, limited to one airflow, one air hole, and two air holes. Okay, and it's pretty nice. Uh, pretty pretty nice atomizer. Okay, I've been using it for the past three days. Been testing it out. Built some 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 builds there. And I'm pretty happy with this build now. Here I have a dual coil build. And I'm vaping this at 47.5 watts. Watts, okay. 47.5 watts. Yep. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's go for a close up. See what's the build in there and all this kind of good stuff, and we'll go. For so here it is. This is the SOD 5K. Okay, signs of dripper. RDA in close up so it doesn't come with a drip tip I'm pretty sure it does but the one Ober gave me did not come with a drip tip you usually will have a drip tip okay but I just took my stingray drip tip and put it on there and this is the dripper okay it's a very nice looking dripper it's simplistic you know uh, nothing too fancy just a very nice looking 22 mil dripper okay it comes in a box I can show you guys the box without screwing up my camera this is the box okay nothing nothing much in it it comes with some screws, some spare o-rings and stuff like that. Nothing too fantastic. Okay, so this is the, the first top cap and this is the second top cap. One has two air holes and one has one air hole. And a special thing about this uh, dripper, according to signs of vaping, is that the, the air holes are cut actually uh, towards down to the, the coil. Okay, it cuts in a direction that it actually guys can see that I'm not sure you guys can see that but the air hole okay it's it's angled down compared to you know previous drippers like the Omega for example it's a straight air it's a straight hole straight to your coil okay but this one is higher up and it's pointing downwards towards your coil which is a nice feature as I said um, from the last time I reviewed drippers, drippers nowadays have gone through massive, massive improvement. Okay, the, some drippers come from come with you know airflow from the bottom, from the back of the coil, and this one is from is uh, uh what you call uh, improved air hole, I guess, because it's coming, it's it's taking air from the bottom up to your coil to your drip tip. Okay, and the inside. It's actually a reduced chamber. It's pretty reduced. You guys can see that it's a curved up here. And that actually gives a very much... Uh, a, in, what What's the word? Improved flavor. Okay. And yeah. So that's the top cap. It's very nice stainless steel top cap. Very thick uh, walls. No problems whatsoever with that. 
you can see the build in here I have okay I'm not gonna rebuild this because I just I'm really really crappy at building coils okay but you get the point it's kinda like a center post two negative screws two uh, what you call vertical coils okay this is my first I mean my third vertical coil build okay it's not the best build in the world but it's okay I got 28 gauge candle in there uh, five reps each 28 gauge so I get about 0.6 0.5 ohms okay um, the center post hopefully you guys can see that in this part the lighting today is really really bad okay the lighting is just bad but you guys can see that it's just a normal uh, positive connection so you just trap your wire in there and twist it I've used it on single coil twisted 28 gauge cantal no problem it chucks the vapor like mad too okay so yeah that's the build okay uh, I just I'm just really bad in building coils so I don't really wanna you know fiddle with it because I'm very happy with this coil so yeah that's about it for the close-ups uh, let's show you the bottom pin okay it is uh uses like an allen key kind of adjustable center post it's out there pretty wide so it makes connection with every single device i have but it does not come with an allen key so i can't really adjust this i'm, I'm pretty fine with that i have no issues whatsoever with that so yeah that's for the close-ups uh let's go and see so hey guys i'm back for the review and yeah i'm very happy with this mod actually uh i mean this dripper it's a really really nice dripper okay um i'm very very happy no problems whatsoever with it uh it's performing really well uh it's easy to build relax it's quite easy uh, even though it looks like it's hard to build it's very easy uh i've been vaping this at 47.5 watts okay on my uh ipb2s and it's been chucking the vapor i've been using the two air hole ones and chucking the vapor okay uh, let's put some more juice in there before I continue this review uh, it holds pretty okay amount of juice depending on the wattage you vape on if you are vaping on like 30 watts the juice will not burn as fast as this uh, this one is just crazy okay uh, it's a 0.6 ohm actually and I've been using this dripper at, I mean this drip tip and it's been chucking the vapor out like mad okay uh, pretty impressed the air hole is not the largest of all I think it's like a 0.5 0.5 or 1.5 1.5 uh, millimeter air hole so it's dual so you get three millimeters flavor on this is fantastic okay um, it's really really nice I actually enjoy the flavor on this very much I pretty sh I'm pretty sure this is probably the best tasting dripper I've ever tried I've been tried it I haven't tried much actually the Nimbus the Omega the Monster Cloud those are old ones okay the new ones like the Veritas the Plume Veil all those kind of good stuff has all the new features that drippers previously didn't have okay and this is the same uh, it has a really really nice reduced chamber that the airflow direction thing probably it kind of helps because the air hole is actually quite uh, high on top so it actually angles down pulls out your vapor to your your drip tip and it gives a very very nice flavor it chucks the vapor out like mad okay like mad uh the pros and cons let's talk about it for a second pros the flavor is good the build quality is superb the center pole is really nice problem i have with previous uh, clone drippers is that you know the center poles are always really really hard to keep it there okay you always when you screw screw it up or when you do anything the center pole either breaks or it you know twists together with your coil and it screws up your your own reading it's very annoying so that's the only reason why i don't really like drippers previously because of those stupid center posts that china makes okay some of the clones have really 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 crappy center posts but this one looks really solid 
uh, the negative poles are built to the deck so there's no chances of those breaking. The center pole is really solid, no chance of it breaking whatsoever. Okay, I'm gonna try I'm gonna show you guys because on dual air holes the flavor is not the best, but the vapor is crazy. But on single air hole, uh, you get less vapor, but the flavor is just absolutely intense, okay? Single air hole here. More tighter draw, definitely is a 1.5 millimeter air hole. But the flavor is so much more enhanced probably at least 25 percent more flavor you get and the 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 throat hit you get even more i'm gonna put a reduced chamber drip tip in here now because i want to show you guys that this dripper can be used as the mouth to lung inhale you don't really have to do a straight direct lung inhale on this uh, dripper but the throat hit will be much more intense. Okay, I have a Hellfire drip tip here. This is a very reduced chamber drip tip. Juice! I need more juice because I'm powering this like mad. Soak it up there. I have Max VG juice anyway, if you guys are wondering. Okay, mouth to lung inhale, no problem. Vapor is not as much. The vapor probably chucks out like a K fan. But you can do a mouth to lung inhale. Okay, you don't have to do a direct lung inhale like those really really big uh, coil atomizers. But I still prefer dual coil because I like to chuck the vapor out. Forty seven point five watts. It's performing like mad. Okay, the vapor production is superb. If you guys are cloud chasers, I think this one is pretty good. But some people I've seen on my page when I posted this stripper up, there's a dude who actually drilled out his air hole to 3 millimeters, I think. And if you guys want to do that, it's fine because you have two air, two top caps. So you guys can actually, you know, screw up one air, uh, screw up one top cap by, you know, drilling it out and you can leave one as factory stock setting. Or you guys want to drill out both who knows what you guys want to do with it, but for me, the stock uh, top caps does pretty well. Okay, uh, let's just try 70 watts because I think some people want to see how it performs under 70 watts, a 0.6 ohm coil. I'm going to vape it at 70 watts. It's chucking out 6.6 volts. Okay. This, yeah, 6.6 .6 volts. This is intense. Okay, let's back out a bit. Those are just one second drags, okay? Let's take at least a three second drag. I'm getting OD now, okay? Oh, this is too much clouds, okay? But yeah, if you guys, like, if you guys are a cloud chaser, by all means, go for this dripper. I personally love this dripper. I love how it looks. It's a very sexy dripper. It's built like a tank. Uh, the poles are good. The positive connection is good. The adjustable center pin is good, okay, because it makes connection with everything. Uh, it gets hot uh, pretty fast, so, you know, just use a Dalrin drip tip, then you'll be fine. No problem whatsoever. I don't recommend you using 70 watts because 70 watts on this device, you basically burn all your juices in three seconds and um, the, the vapor production of course is more but you burn your juices really fast uh, it gets extremely hot and it's not very very safe okay but you know if you have a device like the IPV that actually regulates 70 watts no problem you guys want 70 watts you guys can build a lower ohm if you guys want I have no skills in building coils so 0.5 ohm for me is perfectly fine dual coil okay the flavor is intense the flavor is nice single air hole is the flavor to go if you guys are flavor chasers but if you guys are cloud chasers and you guys want flavor too the dual coil dual air hole no problem 
So yeah, that's about it for this review. Okay, I'm not the best in uh, rebuildable dripping atomizers. I've just started falling in love. Okay, I was all this while I thought you know dripping atomizers like oh, why on earth do you guys want to drip? It's annoying, and I still find it a bit annoying. Like you know you saw in a video, a few babes I have to drip, but once I get used to it, it's actually a fun thing to do because you guys can put out a lot of vapor. You guys get a very satisfying throat hit and the flavor is really, really nice. Not as good as a K fun, but still pretty, pretty nice. And the paper you get is just awesome. Okay, really awesome. So, yeah, that's about it for the review. Uh, where you can get this, go to facebook.com slash Steam Studio. Do support my pal, uh, Ober. He's a really, really cool dude. Uh, send this for me to review. And the retail price for this is about $25, $30. Decent price. Uh, Vapes well, no complaints whatsoever. So let's have the last bait and we'll go. Okay, uh, as usual, go my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Malaysian Vape Addict for more reviews, updates, and stuff like that. The IPB2S review will be coming soon. I've just got it and playing with it right now. So, yeah, let's have a last bait and go. <laughs>